Hey, this is Silicus, and today I'm going to be reviewing and putting OCZ 240 gig Vertex 3 through its paces. If you like my channel, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to get more of these, and check out my sponsors if you would like to support me. So a little bit about the Vertex 3. It has 550 read, 520 write, it has 60,000 IOPS. It's a little bit uh, more resilient to if you accidentally drop it. So if you put it in a laptop, it's a little safer. It has the new Sandforce 2281 chip. They are usually faster and more resilient as far as when it comes to wear and tear of read and writes. However, sometimes it can be a little unstable. Okay, so what do you need to know in order to RAID 0 or RAID anything as far as SSDs? First, there's a big chance of failure, especially if they're new drives, you haven't tested them out. RAIDing SSDs can sometimes be considered unnecessary, but, well, a lot of what I do is unnecessary. So if you're like me and you want a lot of speed, this is what you got to know and what do you have to keep up with. So what do you need to know when you're making an SSD RAID? First, you're going to lose trim. Second, you're causing yourself to maybe have a big heartfelt failure. What I mean by that, I mean your drives are going to have twice as likely to die. Not to mention, generally, when you get the drives, you're like, yay, I want to do this, and I want to make an incredible RAID, and I want to see a 1,000 megabytes per second, and you don't think about the fact that this could fail miserably. And when I mean fail miserably, I mean everything's gone. And then you get to see the hundreds of reviews you see online about people complaining about the fact their drives died. Yes, it sucks. It happens. It's one of the natures of things. Sandforce as a whole is sometimes considered a little unstable. Some people have read some of the reviews about uh, the Vertex 3, even the Force 3, and tons of other um, SSDs. Some of them are prone to failure. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you get a bad one. Same thing with hard drives. Um, so make sure whenever you get them that you obviously test the system out. Don't put your important data on a fresh drive. Some people will go out, rush out, buy a new computer, buy a drive, put all their important pictures and photos on it, the drive fails. Most likely your drive is going to fail within the first month or two of owning it, so always be a little leery and keep a lot of backups. So one of the things you'll notice that whenever you install an operating system to an SSD or an HDD, that over time you lose performance. Things get a little slower, they're not quite as fast as they used to be, and one of the ways you can kind of solve the problem for a little while is to run disk defrags and disk cleanups regularly. Now, if you're like me, I install my operating system probably every six months to a year. However, with an SSD, you don't get that initial speed back because the way an SSD works. An SSD only has a finite number of read and writes. So, for instance, here we go. This is your SSD. Now, whenever you install, let's say you install your operating system and you install some games in it. We'll put some games in this thing. Install Rage, Battlefield 2142, Battlefield 3, Civilization. You have all these games in here. Now, let's say you want to uninstall one of these games. Let's say you no longer play Civ 5 anymore. You put some useless information. So basically what it did is it marked that game as no longer useful. So it converts into useless ribbons. So what these ribbons represent is data that has been marked by Windows as not being useful. So you do this over time and you end up with a full drive. Now, see, to Windows, it's seeing at all these lovely ribbons as being empty space. So every time you now have to install a program, your SSD only has a number of reads and writes available. And the fuller it gets, the slower it gets. So what Trim does is when you enable it, is instead of making these lovely ribbons, let's say you take, you know, let's take a few of them out, and you want to put Civ 5 back on your system, I took out a few, I put it back in, and there we go. It's still slow because it's full all the way up of information that once was. And not only that, but you have to remove the ribbons and put this on top. So you enable trim. What it does is you uninstall this game. It uninstalls it completely, removes it. So there's nothing left. So you don't put in any of these useless ribbons back on top of it. Now, so I install it back again. Blam. Done. So what trim does is it makes this nice and easy because you don't deal with all these extra ribbons. You just have drive, operating system, games, whatever you need. One good thing to do is to check each individual drive before you make it into a RAID. That way you know they work and once it's in RAID you can't really update it so you have to break your RAID, do a whole bunch of stuff, reinstall your OS just to do a firmware update. So check your drives. So once you have your drives ready to go, you've got your two cables, 
you need to know what motherboard you have. I use an Intel motherboard, so you have to have a Z68, P67, X79, one of those boards that have native Intel chip control that always has two. Now, sometimes you'll see that it has four SATA 3 ports. Remember, two are probably Marvel and two are Intel. Marvel is okay for doing a single SATA 3 drive, but it does not do a good job and you will not get the numbers that I got using it. So use the Intel one, plug them in, check your manual or your box so you know. Now, in the upcoming screen, I'm going to show you some of the benchmarks I got, some of the things I did to achieve it, and that way maybe you can get the same results as I do. So once you install Windows, get into the desktop and set it up. You'll want to go and download SSD Tweaker. From there, you'll click on the Auto Tweak setting and run it. This is an incredible easy way to set up Windows to be ready for your SSD RAID. Just be sure to check and make sure that Defrag Schedule is turned off. So what do you get from raiding all these things together? Well, you get instant load times. For instance, when playing Skyrim, you don't even have time to read the flavor text before the game loads. In League of Legends, I'm the first one loaded, and in Battlefield, I watch people spawn in at the start of the game. So here you can see some crazy RAID 0 performance. I'm going to open up over 50 Internet Explorer windows all at the same time using this batch file I wrote. As you can see, I have 37 processes running, and at the end of these few short moments, I'll have over 94. So, as you can see, over 50 Internet Explorer windows all trying to connect to the internet at the same time are opened in seconds. In front of you, you see Addo Benchmark. You can set custom parameters of kilobyte test speeds. I use the default ones from 0.5 to 8192 kilobytes. Along the bottom from 0 to 2000, you see the transfer rate of megabytes per second. As you can see, I achieve over a thousand read and write speed. If this were a single drive, you could half those results. Next up is Syssoft Sandra. As you can see, I can only test read since the operating system cannot be on the drive you're testing for write. Here I've made a demo of several different drives. At the bottom is a standard hard drive at 5400 RPMs. Above that is an OCZ Vertex 2, an Agility 3 above that, a Vertex 3 single drive, and then of course our RAID. As you can see, the difference between a standard hard drive and even a single OCZ Vertex 2 is extreme, let alone our Vertex 3 and RAID. You can see the single Vertex 3 drive performing at around 550 megabytes per second is doubled to over 1050 when put into RAID 0. From the time of posting, from Sandra Statistics, this was considered the top 1 percentile of all drive solutions. Once again, this is Silicus, and this was my review and explanation of the Vertex 3 SSD and RAID 0. Hope this helped you out. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you want more of these, and check out my sponsors if you'd like to support me. Hope this helped.